four Draco Slayer videos in a row. And in fact, next week, we're going to do four more Draco Slayer videos in a row. Copping up the competition! Let's get straight into this video. This video is about the new deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! And we're not talking about Bisted, we're talking about Draco Slayers. And how Draco Slayers obliterate Bisted. It is an incredible matchup. And with everyone playing Bisted to counter Tillament, so everyone's playing Tillament. So people are naturally going to play Bisted to counter the Tillament, right? That's where you think ahead of the curve and play Draco Slayers, which counters the counter of the counter. You feel me? So we're going to play the deck that destroys not just the best deck in last video, Tillament, but beats the deck that everyone's going to play to stop that deck, which is Bisted. So it's an incredible matchup for us uh, because all their cards are useless. So we're going to get straight into the replays right now. Before we do, you guys did miss out on the Draco Slayer playmats. They were beautiful, only 48 hours. They're off the website now. But I did say that I will take them off when I get to Minnesota. I am in Minnesota right now. So if someone were to just purchase this right now, I wouldn't even know, right? Oh, fucking 12 more hours to go, bro! 12 more hours! This is your last call, bro. If you guys don't get pick up these Draco Slayer playmats right now, you will never be able to pick them up again in your life. So get them right now. But when I get home from winning this YCS day one, this day one, I'm, I'm shutting it off the website. So go get it while you can, all right? I love you guys, and we're gonna get straight into this video. Get your Draco Slayer playmats while you guys can. Limited time exclusive, best match in the game. Let's go. In this video, you guys are gonna witness just how easy Draco Slayers clap up Bisted. Everyone's gonna be playing Bisted. Look at his hand here, okay? He, he, this guy's three Bisted cards, bro. L look at this hand. This is three Bisted cards in Call by the Grave, okay? So this is how you're gonna see, witness how easy it is. Look at your graveyard. There's no cards that actually go to the graveyard, except for, let's say, Artifact Scythe, perhaps, that we care getting hit with a Bisted card. That's the beauty of how good this actually is. So here, we're gonna go into uh, just a bunch of pen summons. You don't fear anything. The only thing you actually fear, to be honest, is Nibiru. But there are ways to play around the Nibiru with going against Nister. We opt not to do that now because there's talent, so it's okay. You have defense regardless of Nib. So here, I'm going to go for uh, Magister Paladin. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Go Selene. Selene effect. Look, look at this. This is too good. Just get free plus. Now, this one, I want to show you guys how good this is. Ignister's a fire. Maj Majesty Pegasus is a win. Like, none these go to the graveyard and you summon them back. Like, Revolution Dragon Specials back to Ignister, but it's a fire. Being not a light or a dark is so important this meta. I don't think you guys understand how important that is. It makes it so 10 cards in your opponent's deck are useless. And everyone's at least playing three Magnum, one Druid Worm. So it just makes all these cards useless. Uh, here you're going to loop Ignister as we always do. Summon out the Mascarena. Summon out Dinosaur. Do be careful about Scythe. If you guys opt for a Scythe version, uh, this Bisted card do hit the Scythe. That's a downside of playing Scythe that it gets hit with Bisted. And Savage Dragon, make sure to do it uh, after you have Apeloza up. Uh, or don't even go for Savage Dragon. Like, Savage Dragon should not be a play you go for because of the Bisted stuff. So, like, what's he going to do? Special Magnum, get rid of... I don't care. So? It doesn't do anything. Now, imagine it hit, like, your, your Savage Dragon. Imagine it hit your Tillament. Imagine it hit all this other stuff. It's the beauty of it. Now use Talons. Get rid of the other level 6. No, we'll see you later. It's too good. It's just too good. Special our own Magnum. Huh? Going to go into Apeloza. Special this from hand. Go Dweller. Look at this. It's too broken. Like, he's left with four cards in his hand. And we're going to add Magister. Magister's going to add, and Magnemite's going to add. Like, we have amazing follow-up. He has no cards left. GG. Literally GG. This game's over. On the spot. Dweller. Set. Unicorn. See you later. We're not going to go on to the next game. We're going to show one more replay after this match as well. But I want you guys to pay close attention to this. Because these are just, it's just too good. It's just too good. Now, over here, uh, we're going to be playing Branded. As you guys saw... Uh, the hand we have is Talents, Fenrir, and three Draco Slayer cards. For those who don't know, Babuku searches Majesty Pegasus, which is amazing. We're going to need to uh, be utilizing this a lot. Uh, here, it sets up the classic Branded Beast rebranded. We don't care. Drawing into Magnemite, this hand's absolutely broken. Uh, the opponent does have Droll, which Droll does really hurt our deck. Uh, not going to lie. It's actually why uh, it stops a lot of this deck, but that's okay. It uh, doesn't matter because we're still going to find a way to win because we're playing the best deck in the game. Uh, get hit with Droll here. Literally, no problem. Soren here. At this point, I would have talents for his hand. He does have a Nibiru, which is very hurtful for us. Uh, Talents is going to chain this, going to take that. And next, is going to go into battle phase. Uh, attacking these, and then going to go attack with Bambuku. Next, going to go into Beyond the uh, Mask. Sorry, just going to go at Mascarena. And then going to Pendulum summon. I actually would have gone into Beyond the Pendulum because Pop 2 would pop these two. 
So if you pop rebranded and branded beast, the follow up is just gone completely. And then Nibiru, sadly. This is actually 10,000 interruptions through, uh, if there's no Nibiru, even with the Droll. Because Ignister is still, still specials. So you still loop a bunch of your cards, even with Droll, because you special from the grave and loop from the grave. But sadly, we got hit with that. So here we have Desires and Talents, which is amazing. Get hit with Droll. Another dr hand hit with Droll. This is unfortunate. But we're able to look at their hand and notice that, look, so no Fenrir. Now this hand's going to be very easy to break. Because you can make it so Druid Worm is useless in the hand. And... You make it so Polly's useless and Brandon Red is useless. So all you need to do as long as there's no graveyard, uh, that's why Talents is so powerful in our deck because we have like 30 different end boards that we can make. So now knowing that as long as we make Super Paul useless, Druid useless, and Brandon Red useless, we could do uh we could play accordingly. But if we saw his hand and it see that uh, sees that it loses to Dweller, we go for Dweller. You get what I'm saying? Like you think of that logic. Uh, or you go for a negate board, like a classic vortex board, you know, like there's so many different lines you could do. Here we notice that he has no play unless he hard draws a spell. So you just keep the graveyard free of Druid. You keep a board that you can't hit with Super Poly. That's the beauty. And you just have an amazing follow-up. He has to set. And we just pendulum everything. He attempts a Super Poly into Garura. But you can't because they're the same name. And that's going to be a uh, game. It's going to go for game here. So that's that. going to show one more replay now. This deck's truly insane. Like, it, it really is. It's just a fantastic meta call. Because everyone is playing the Bisted to stop the tier limit. So why don't you play the deck that stops both, especially the counter to the counter. Uh, it's like a triangle that just always works in victory. Here, Fenrir, this is why Fenrir is such a broken card in this deck. That you could utilize it if you'd like as a card for Beyond the Pendulum. Or you could just keep it on the board as interruption. Like We get hit with Imperm here. Look at this, look at this. I told you guys the deck destroys Bisted, right? This Magnuma is going to be stuck in his hand. He could Magnuma just to, like for the sake of adding a card for the sake of like let me add an end phase that's cool that's still a good card obviously but it won't have its real power of what it could possibly do here gonna go iris gonna go selene uh set it up a revolution dragon revolution go bring it back to ignister at any time he wants goes for apoloza goes for mascarena especially ignister to use the ignister another time like this is so broken look like i would actually i would apoloza the magnum i would 100 percent apoloza this uh he opts not to but I would Apoloza because it would make it stuck in his hand. Now he's just able to make uh, two of these. But the beauty of Hope Harbinger is that Masquerade and Apoloza cannot be attacked into. Uh, Going to attempt to attack. But he's only doing this because he wants his uh, Wyvern to be able to be used. Uh, Going to summon some other stuff here. But there's just not much he could do. There's just really not much he could do. We have Apoloza still. We have Hope Harbinger's Dweller still active. This is too much. Best deck. Best deck. So I'm going to go to game number two here. It's just a great Bisted counter. Now over here, it's going to go for Magnum. If you look into the opponent's hand, there's Chaos Space, Rivalry. Rivalry Warlords is the card that's going to give this deck the most trouble. But if you realize, a lot of these cards are dragons. So if you're able to, or spellcasters, you, you could just play under just one. But it is difficult under Rivalry for sure. So we'll see how this goes and how Rivalry affects this duel. Uh, going, to go to, going to go into Wyvern Burster, Collapse Serpent. Going to get some value here. But at the end of the day, are you playing the best deck Pendulum? No. So you could have all the stuff you want, all the interruptions you want. It's no match for the best deck. Let me tell you guys that. I want to give a big shout out to Jibriel and Lundrity who created the spreadsheet for this deck with 43 combos. You guys can go check it out in the description below. Also, you can check out uh, Jib's Twitch uh, where he streams a lot of Draco Slayer. So go check that out in the description. Also, while you guys are on my website, go check out Triv Gaming on TrivGaming.com. Go check out the beautiful play mats, like I said, for a few more uh, hours only. Uh, here, uh, flips up the rivalry ASAP. We have desires. I'm, okay, let's find some way to out this. He's going to Iris pop the Druid Worm, which is an amazing, amazing play. He's going to go Seal, chaining the Magnemite. So we're going to stick to Dragons and going Savage. Now, look at how much Rivalry is carrying. We have six cards in our hand. The only way he's going to win is if Rivalry is going to hard carry. We have six cards in our hand. So we're going to go into Majesty Pegasus here. We're going to get a free plus one. Luster, going to get another plus one. And we're going to go uh, use, the, use Dynamite to special the Luster. And we're going to normal summon to go into Ignister. All these are dragons, bro. All of these are dragons. So now we're going to go into Ignister. He's going to negate. And we just need to find some way to out the rivalry. We're going to pendulum a dragon. Entering battle phase. Popping that. Uh, destroying that. All we got to do, bro, is just out this one card. Go into end phase. He has Chaos Levin here in his hand. All you got to do is out the, the rivalry. Look at this setup, bro. Even through rivalry. This is through like six interruptions and rivalry. If there was no rivalry beyond the pendulum, he was so cooked, it's insane. But it's part of the game, so we'll just keep this in mind. He Magnumot to get gets rid of this. It's a good play. 
Pop deck Starly Seyfert. What a sickle, bro. Oh my goodness. Uh, this looks like the end of the road because of rivalry. And then just somewhere we can out the rivalry. It, it would just be game. Uh, I'm going to go with the Magnum. Still a great duel nonetheless here. So that's up Brandon Beast as well. Summons this a second time. And it looks like the writing's on the wall. Game 2 looks like he's going to go to Forgotten. But if the rivalry was if the rivalry was like a Valor or like an Imperm, uh, Jib was OTKing, bro. Jib was OTKing. Uh, which is okay. We're going to see what's drawn here. Uh, no, we're going to go to Scoop. Okay, so now game number 3. We're going first. Let's see how we do when we go first. So the opponent has, look at this. Holy shit. Imperm, Valor, Gamma, and the Bisted. So let's see how this does for him. This is going to be very tough for Draco. So I just play around Imperm, Gamma, Valor. Oh my god. Gamma, Valor, Imperm. Let's see how we could do this. So uh, we're going to normal the Joker. Joker's going to search Revolution Dragon. Uh, and then with these, we're going to go into Ignister. Ignister gets hit with Gamma. That's a big hit. That's a big hit. But we're going to chain Astrogar Sorcerer. We've already destroyed Magic Pegasus this turn, this turn. So we're able to search it. Look at that. So broken, bro. Revolution Dragon, Special Ignister. Ignister, Special Mag, Beyond the Pendulum is inevitable. Ah! Valor, and now he has no Imperm. This is through Gamma Valor. Didn't do jack shit. Didn't do jack shit. Oh my god, bro. This deck's the best deck. Didn't do jack shit. Through Gamma Valor. Didn't do shit. Literally, like, just you omega yourself two times. The only playable card he has is Lubellion right now. Uh, summon these out on top of Loza. Get another one as Revolution Dragon. Oh, I love this deck, bro. This deck's insane. Ignister, Special, Harbinger, Dweller, and Face. Look at three cards in hand. You're not playing through this with four cards, let me tell you. Dweller, nice deck. Imper no problem. Nice deck, bro. Nice deck, bro. Magnemite, Banish, sure. No problem. GG! Let's go. This is the deck list. Everyone wants to see it. I showcased already in the last three days the combo tutorials of this deck, the deck profile of this deck, destroying T Limit replays, and now destroying Vista replays. This is four Draco Serial videos in a row. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go clap people up in Minnesota right now. Next week, we're going to show four more Draco Slayer videos. The Draco Slayer videos next week is going to be me destroying Sam, me destroying Farfa, us destroying Sprite, and us. I have a surprise searching Mystic Mine. As you see the Mystic Mine over here, how broken this deck is going second because you use going second to search Mystic Mine. Use this to search Mystic Mine at the very end. And it's very vital. So those four Draco Slayer videos will be next week. Uh, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last four videos. I'm going to go win Minnesota. Make sure to check out TriffGaming.com where you can get the spreadsheet to support Jib and Lund. I make $0 out of it. All proceeds go to them. And if you can get the beautiful Triff Gaming playmat while supplies last for basically six more hours. Hope you guys love the video. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.